budget phones is in right now. And if you got about, let's say, $299 uh, plus tax, you could pick up some good hardware and some good software. What's up, guys? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. And today I got two devices, guys. I got the Motorola Xperia Edition 2015, guys, which the price really came down to a $299 price point. And we got the next bit, Robin. Y'all, guys, watch my channel. You know I have had my share of issues with this device, but I still have faith in it. So let's talk about it. Which one should you get? So get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. So in this comparison, guys, I'm gonna give you my full opinion on which device that I believe is good for the price. Uh, we got the, the, both of them is you know, comparable in specs. Both of them have the Snapdragon 808 processor. Both of them have three gigs of RAM. Uh, the Motorola uh, X Superior has a 5.7 inch screen. The next bit Robin has a 5.2 inch uh, screen, 1080p quad HD screen here. The next bit Robin got, I call it boom sound speakers, front facing speakers. Also the Motorola X has front facing speakers also. Now, as far as the storage options, you got uh, uh, 1632, 64 gigs. The next bit, Robin, does a little something unique. You got 32 gigs of internal storage, but you have cloud storage, which they give you 100 gigs. Now, a lot of it could be subjective. A lot of people might like it. A lot of people must, might hate it. But, I mean, I think it's pretty cool. I don't have any issues with that. Now, when you look at that screen difference here, even though you got a quad HD screen on the, the Motorola phone, I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. IPS on both of them. And, uh, you know, look, I, I, what I like about the Motorola phone, guys, it's, in 2015, this phone came out almost edge to edge. It ain't no bezel on there. And uh, compared to uh, the next bit, Robin, you see a little bezel on there. 1080p screen, guys, still look good. Look, what I like about the next bit, Robin, uh, is I like that, that it fits real good in the hand. You got that little corner there that kind of give you a little grippability. And again, look, the design you can love or hate. I, I like the mint color. Uh, the, the Motorola phone, it has that uh, curve. It also feels real good in hand. Also with the, the kind of hump in the back, you got that nice little pretty texture there. Um, and it feels real good in hand. So again, let's go ahead and go over the details of, of each phone. The Motorola phone, you got the volume rocket here, power button here, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You have your SIM slot there. And on this side is clean. At the bottom, you have your power port. Now this is USB not USB type C. And on the back, you got your 21 megapixel camera uh, along with a two-tone flash. And you got that little dimple there, kind of hole that does not have uh, any fingerprint scanner on this device. All right, so on the next bit, Robin, uh, you do have a fingerprint scanner uniquely here on the power button. At the top, you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Uh, on the back, you do have your volume rocker. Well, kind of separated volume keys. You do have USB type C and you got boom sound speakers, which I call boom sound speakers here. Uh, you have a 13 megapixel camera on the back. I will do uh, flash here. Guys, I can tell you that when you put both of them together, kind of comparison, uh, the, the Motorola phone, a little chunky in the back, it kind of taper off on the side. So as far as pockability, uh, you can kind of do the next bit robbing a little bit uh, and uh, as far as that. But man, you got to give it to Motorola. In this case, they fit a 5.7 inch screen in this little bitty body here. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, when you compare it to something like the Nexus 6P, uh, a 5.7 inch screen here, but uh, body to screen ratio is totally different uh, when you compare it to the uh, uh, Nexus 6P. And even when you're doing the next bit robber to the Nexus 6P, the Nexus 6P has a giant forehead and chin. So, um, 
the Motorola device, you do have almost stock Android, uh, but you do have some enhancements like, uh, you know, the, the Hello Moto and all that uh, voice command stuff that I like. I really like that. Uh, and on the uh, Nextbit, Rob, you have the Nextbit software on here, and I didn't like it at all. So the first thing I did was put Google Launch on it. <laughs> the first thing you're going to do with the device, I promise you, with no app draw and stuff like that, you're going to throw a skin on this device uh, because uh, the original uh, software, I tried to deal with it for a while, but nah, I can't deal with not having the app draw. All right, so uh, let's talk about the camera. A lot of people always ask me, Eric, what about the cameras on both devices? Listen, I did a camera review between this phone and the Galaxy S7. Oh my God, it's nice. I like it. Now, that both phones does not have optical image stabilization, but this phone did absolutely amazing when it came down to video quality on this device, 4K and everything else. So. Uh, let's go to take some still footage of my one of my favorite props. So I got my favorite prop here. Let's put that right on the side. Let's get this in the, the middle. <laughs> my favorite prop of all times is my Crown Raw prop. Let's fire up the camera. Now, uh, some of the unique features uh, that uh, that's in this camera, everything is kind of, you know, uh, gesture-based. Slide here, slide there to get to here, there, the other. Uh, but when you take photos, you have to just tap the screen. You don't have no dedicated button here. So let's go to take a picture of the Crown Raw bottle. And boom. All right. So let's get the next bit robin fired up. Now the next bit robin does have kind of controls here. You do have a um, a control there that you can point and shoot. All right, so boom. All right, so let's get the prop out the way and let's take a peep at both images here. All right, so as you may know that the camera did not uh, flash when we took the image. So this is the Motorola. All right, nice clean image there. All right, looks very, very good. Very clean when you blow it up. Uh, you do see the text, very good. Let's get the next bit robin. Again, it, the flash didn't come on. So uh, again, uh, it's a little dark, a little grainy a little bit. So overall, when you put them side by side, uh, I think it, when you're looking at both of them, I tell you, wow. So one of them uh, kind of give you an uh, overexposure and one of them kind of give you uh, more of a natural tone. So let's kind of get this in here so you guys can see this. And let me blow the camera up so y'all guys can see this here and put this in perspective. Boom. Right, so uh, when you take a look at these images here, guys, you kind of be the judge for yourself. The, the main star of them all is the boom sound speakers. So we're gonna go to one of my videos. I just opened, I just uh, released the Motorola uh, uh, gaming review here. So let's check out these boom sound speakers. What's up, YouTubers? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Wow, this it's is gaming wild. time. I got the Motorola uh, X Pure Edition 2000. Sounds real guys. good. You can pick this device. And let's go to open it up here. Uh-oh. Computer Solutions. It's gaming time. I got the Motorola uh, X Pure Edition. Man, that would sound good, you too. myself for 299 Itself for $299. Uh, Not, it has all the dice specs, the adrenal uh, dollars. Uh, it has all the dice specs, the adrenal. Uh, now, what I'm hearing here is uh, that it's a more of a hollow sound on the, the next bit Robin, and then on the, the Motorola phone, it gives you a more full sound. So, I would tell you the Motorola phone sounds very good. Uh, and, but I tell you what, front facing speakers. It's outstanding. I mean, so watching videos on both uh, phones is A1 pretty good. So let's talk about that battery life. Uh, the the uh, Motorola phone has a 3000 milliamp battery and the Nextbit Robin has a 2640, a 2680 uh, milliamp battery. And I can tell you from experience uh, that both phones is okay. Uh, but I think the Nextbit Robin 
in my opinion, gets me better battery life uh, versus the Motorola device. But what I like about the Motorola device, the charger that comes with this device, guys, is absolutely fast. Charging this device is faster than charging in the uh, next bit robber, but you do have USB type C uh, on the next bit robber. But overall battery life, I think, in my opinion, the next bit robber battery life is better then even though it's 3000 milliamp batteries i just think with the the 5.7 inch screen and i work it hard look i work my devices hard so i'm getting a little better better life on the next bit robin at the end of the day guys so both phones in my opinion it is running marshmallow uh the the motorola phone begin updates uh the next bit robin begin updates man it's hard to tell i mean the, the motorola phone give you uh, some unique features with uh the voice command front facing speakers, quad HD, the camera is okay, not that great. I think the next bit Robin camera is better than here. Check out my camera reviews on the next bit Robin. Uh, I think the fluidity is a little hair faster on the next bit Robin versus uh, the Motorola phone. Uh, the design, it can be love or hate it. I actually like the design of the next bit Robin. I call the next bit Robin my sleeper device. I, I like it. I've been having some problems with the next bit Robin, some hardware problems. This is the third phone. So I kind of lost a, about half a faith of next bit Robin. But for this comparison, if I didn't have those those past issues with the next bit Robin about hardware issues along with the uh, buzziness in the bottom speaker and uh, uh, touchscreen issues, I would definitely say that I would go lean towards the next bit Robin. But since we've been having a lot of issues with the next bit Robin, I personally like the Motorola uh, X Peer Edition because this phone with the bezel-less design, 5.7 inch screen, quad HD, boom sound speakers, okay camera. Uh, with all the moto features on the stock android this will be my choice in 2016 for the $299 budget thank you guys this is eric from easy computer solutions leave your comments down below i like both phones i really do i, I like the next bit robin but it, right now the next bit robin has to prove itself to me uh in the next couple of weeks uh, because I've been having this is a brand new device number three uh, and I've been having some issues with it So right now I'm kind of on the fence for next bit, but $299 $299 you can't go wrong with either device. I like both devices. Both devices give me thumbs up So thank you guys. See you on the next video. Peace